This is the allegedly 200 mile an hour capable drone designed by Chris Rosser, and I built it in a video some time ago on my channel. And I never got to fly it at 200 miles an hour because I messed up the fail safe configuration, dropped it from the sky at about 50 feet, and well, this 3D printed frame, it may be aerodynamic, but it is not very crash worthy. Yeah, that's a little, what the fuck? Oh shit, why? Why did it disarm? Uh, why did it disarm? Now, it, what you're probably thinking is, Bardwell, you crashed the frame, you broke it. Why are you showing it to us again? It's still crashed and broken. And that's not entirely true. It is crashed and broken again, but this time I have footage of it going pretty damn fast. I would like to give credit to uh, Atreides FPV, Skip from uh, 533. Fly 533 is Evan Turner's uh, company. They make drones, they make motors, they make frames. Evan Turner, of course, a world-class racer. His company is based in Maryville, Tennessee, about 25 minutes, sorry, <clears throat> Marville, Tennessee, <laughs> about 25 minutes from my house. And uh, I reached out to Skip, who is one of their builders, uh, and said, hey, it's taken me forever to get around to fixing this drone. Would you just fix it for me? Is that a thing you do? And it turns out he does. So if you are in the Knoxville area, or even if you're outside of the Knoxville area, and you want someone to build or repair a drone for you for a very, very reasonable hourly rate, I would suggest reaching out to Atreides FPV, skip at 533. Hey, uh, I have a question for you. All at, right. You test flew that drone, right? Yes. Yeah, no, it, it flew fine. That's not why I'm asking. Um, did you do any high speed runs with it? No. No, you just test hovered it. Yes. Okay, that's pretty weird. Um, when I got the O3, well, I got, so I got the drone. I was getting ready to fly it today. I was updating firmware and all that shit. I plugged in the O3 by accident instead of the flight controller because I just plugged in the wrong USB. When the uh -huh. USB drive popped up, there was footage on it, and it's footage of somebody doing like a high speed run outside my house. Uh you really? didn't you didn't leave it outside my house, right? You handed it off to me. Yeah, I went straight from from my house to your house and handed it off to you. That's pretty no, weird. I mean even uh I, I mean I'll be honest with you, even Evan tried to get uh me to let him fly it and I told him no. Well, uh, huh. so you get you have a footage of that drone. I have footage of that right. drone. In this footage, it gets to about seventy five percent throttle, and it is yeah. going one hundred seventy five miles an hour. And the battery hits three point oh volts. Shit. The battery hits three point yeah. oh volts, and the pilot backs off. I guess that's why he backed off. Um, uh, wow. It it starts it starts when the footage is in the air, and it stops after the run. So you never get to see the pilot. Or anything like that. It's just like somebody, I don't know. It's very weird. Huh. Yeah. You. Okay. Well, it's a mystery. Um, I will I will tell you, I set it up. I did a whole bunch of test hovers, getting accelerometer trim, GPS rescue, all the shit I meant to do. It was ready to go. And, and I took off in angle mode, flew for about 15, 20 feet, switched it to acro mode, and it went... <laughs> and freaked out and know. fell to the ground. Which ESC was that? This is, I believe, the Rotor Riot stack. This is the Rotor okay. Riot stack. So I believe it's the Rotor Riot ESC or whatever they were shipping their stack with. So I done the uh, Foxier 30 by 30 8S mm -hmm. uh, stack. Yeah. And it, it was kind of like a budget stack or whatever. And uh, But I done that one in a similar build with the 3115s on a vertical plate that mm -hmm. I was trying to make into a rocket drone. Yeah. <clears throat> and, it, and it handled it. Well, wherever the footage came from, I'm really happy that I was finally able to show you this drone getting at least close to its advertised speed. Uh, I know that it can go over 200 miles an hour. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get it go over 200 miles an hour. Um, it seems like when you start going that fast, things get pretty finicky. Uh, I think that's going to be it for me with this drone. Um, but you can have a, the chance at this drone. I'm going to do a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. I'm going to give you this exact drone. Now, you're thinking, well, it's broken. What good is that to me? Oh, well, sure, but... All the parts inside 
as far as I know, are still fully functional. There's a DJI 03 in here. There's a Rotorite stack. There's three of these motors seem to still be functional and you can do what you want. You can put it on a Chris Rosser frame. You can put it on some other frame, have fun with it. Uh, in order to enter the giveaway, go down to the video description. There are instructions in there for how to enter the giveaway and how people will be notified of the winner. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying.